a time versus distance on this 5k thing um looking at it from my opinion on it the way i like to do it i like the distance uh just because it kind of gives me a, a target a, a light in the tunnel i don't have to check my clock i can just run for that goal and when i get there it's like crossing the finish line you know it's like damn i got it you know and you just prep it for the next one so that's my preference uh as far, just personal preference as far as what you should do <clears throat> I think you should do whatever one's hardest for you. Uh, I tried to time mine out today. Dude, it's real close. Uh, half a mile or five minutes on week five. And it's taken me, you know, like five, six minutes to run the half mile. Uh, so for me, it's not a big difference. It, I'd probably benefit from going time. The reason I say that is the more you're running, the better advantage you're going to have on this going forward because the damn jumps get kind of rough, especially around week four, week five. And you're gonna need to be ready for it. So I think you're gonna get a better workout just going with whichever one is longer to you. And I'd imagine for most people that's gonna be the time. Um, another benefit of time is all you need is a watch or your smartphone, whatever you want to use, but you can just pop out a watch and uh just keep track of it, you know. It's a lot easier. You don't have to damn log the shit or figure out your mileage. If you're running on a treadmill or a track, it'd be a little bit easier, but if you're out here road running. It's going to, you know, you got to go run logger, runkeeper.com, runlogger something.com. Both those places have little, it's just little, uh, like Google Maps, you can get on there and plot out your course and measure it for distance, find out what you need to do. But that's kind of a pain in the ass compared to just wearing a wristwatch. You can just check every so often. So it's all up to you. Ultimately, both of them will work out, go with whatever you feel. For me, it's not a big difference. I go with distance because I just like it better, but I think the time would benefit me. And I'm going slow. The faster you're running, the more that time's gonna benefit you. Because if you're out here doing a half a mile in four minutes, you know, well, hell, you could run at five and get another get another minute on your workout each run. Be running for an extra minute, that's two more minutes each day. And that's gonna benefit you. So, it's what, you know, go with either one, you're gonna be fine. but. That's my take on it. For the best, to get the most out of this exercise, to get the most out of this, this little program, I would say time's probably going to be your, your, your best bet. But if you're breaking even, if it's about the same, or you just, if, if one's easier for you, if you like that, if you're going to a track and it's just easier just to run the track or a treadmill, or you're, uh, or maybe you don't have that shit and you just want to use a wristwatch, whatever's better for you. I, I would, either way, you're not going to be hurting either way. Do whatever you feel best with, whatever gets you out here and keeps you moving. But that's just my take on it. All right, see y'all.